it's kind of obvious that if a woodchuck could chuck wood, he would chuck only as much wood as he needed. In fact, uh, his creative writing teacher actually questioned some of his writings whether he had really written them. He had. Unless uh, he derived some kind of strange pleasure from chucking wood, in which case he may chuck wood in excess. I don't even know what a woodchuck is. He was a very unusual child because he he never cared for sweets and he toys didn't interest him nothing but musical instruments <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, we enjoyed uh, writing the songs for this album more than any other. Derry and I have developed a lot more confidence in each other's ability, and there's not as much push and shove. And so, um, I, I don't know, it just came a lot easier. We, we don't really have a formula for writing songs. We've, we do it a lot of different ways. We haven't really established you know, any certain way that we write. It just comes from all different things. Sometimes he'll say a lyric and I'll go home and try and figure out something to it, to a chorus or something. And Other times I'll give him a couple chords and he'll come back and say, well, why don't you put this chord here or let's, we need a different change for this or something. So it just, it, it just depends. It's becoming more and more comfortable though, whatever. It seems like whatever way we do things now, it just seems to flow a little better. Going on the road with these guys is a lot of fun. I get to mix the house sound, which means if I think the gig is going boring, I can just turn up the kick and snare and more people will dance. Uh, there were a lot of sort of low budget gigs. There was one we played up in, uh, it was in Canada. I think it was in Toronto someplace. It was an outdoor festival and um, the promoter had put us up at a hotel, but then he had forgotten that uh, we were supposed to play at this gig. So we ended up having to walk like a mile or a mile and a half to get by ourselves. He never sent anyone to pick us up. So we had road cases on our backs, you know, we're dragging all this equipment. With us. When I first found out about the choir, there was a virtual explosion of new music bands happening around the country, and right here in Southern California, there must have been a hundred bands just between L.A. and Orange County, and the choir was the one band that really stood out. They, they had a great look on stage. Here's this guy, Derry, with long red hair, running around like crazy, playing guitar, and Steve on drums. He was a really tough, aggressive drummer, but he'd also just flip the beat around every chance he got and turn it into something really new and exciting. And then afterwards, I was talking to them and found out that their dads were both pastors, and so they knew a lot about the church and what was going on out there. And at the same time, they both had degrees in music and literature. And it was just such a great combination. I thought, this is a unique band. I've got to go check them out. he went to the toy store, he looked for some kind of a musical instrument. And music has been Derry's life, and still is. <laughs> That's all he thinks about. And I don't know, every time he sees a new guitar yet, at his age, he would like to have it if he could afford it. <laughs> but he's been a very unusual child about 
staying in church and doing what he could for the Lord.